So in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and right the way through to chapter 14, there are a number of gifts that are mentioned there, spiritual gifts, that somehow come under this broad description of prophetic revelation. They are the revelation gifts. They are the gifts of spiritual eyesight. And you need to know what each of these gifts are, what their function is, and how they operate, because you can get mixed up in, in, in a way. Now, it's very simple when you get to, get to know it. Now, the gift of discerning of spirits is the ability to distinguish between spirits, whether somebody is acting or behaving in the Holy Spirit or in their own human spirit, which is very close to being in the flesh, but it's coming from their own flesh, their own soul, or their own human spirit. In other words, it's not evil, it's not like coming from the devil, but it's just not from God. Or whether they are manifesting a demonic spirit. So you have to ask, in this gift, you are discerning whether somebody is speaking or functioning according to the Holy Spirit, according to demonic spirits, or even their own spirit. But all it tells you is the motivating spirit. What is motivating them? It doesn't tell you anything else. And so, then, when I sat down with him and spoke to him, God manifested a word of knowledge. In fact, many words of knowledge. And that answered the question, what? What specifically was going on in his life? And the gift of discerning of spirits didn't give me that, but the gift of the word of knowledge did. But also what was needed was a word of wisdom. So that when you receive a word of knowledge, or you receive a gift of discerning of spirits, you then have to say, Lord, what do I do? So the, the gift, the word of wisdom, it shows you what you must do, or you can speak into somebody else's life, showing them what they must do.